Hi, this is Pilal and this lecture is based on classification of bacteria on the basis of different morphologies. So on the basis of different morphologies, you have different shapes of bacteria in which you have foci, you have basely or even you have spiral shaped bacteria. Now for example, if you are talking about these cocci, then these cocci are actually round shaped bacteria. Now remember one thing that this is coccus and this coccus is round shaped bacteria. So in this case, even we have single plane cocci, two plane cocci or even three plane cocci as you can see that this is diplococci. So when two cocci are going to attach with each other, then it will form diplococci and this diplococci is actually a single plane cocci because it is present on the single plane. So in case of diplococci, you have example of Neisseria. Similarly, as you know that this is diplococci and it is single plane cocci. So when two cocci, so two more cocci are going and attaching just below them on the second plane, then it will form, you know, two plane cocci just like this. In which you have example of tetrad. Similarly, as you know that these are uh, two plane cocci. So when two more cocci are going and attaching just below them, then it will form three plane cocci. Similarly, we have some cocci which are forming clusters in the form of grapes and these are known as triphylococci and when cocci are forming chains, then it is known as streptococci. So even on the basis of cocci, you can classify the bacteria. Then you have bacilli and these bacilli are actually rod shaped bacteria. As you can see that this is a rod shaped bacteria in which you have even diplobacilli when true bacilli are going to attach with each other then it will form diplobacilli and when bacilli are forming chains then it is known as streptobacilli similarly we have cocobacillus and this cocobacillus is very important because it is intermediate between coccus and bacillus as you can see so in case of cocobacillus we have example of salmonella Similarly, we have spiral shaped bacteria. In spiral shaped bacteria, we have Fibrio and this Fibrio is actually a comma shaped bacterium. Similarly, we have some spirillium and then we have spirochiers. These spirillium are actually thick, but these spirochiers are thin. So even on the basis of different shapes, we can classify the bacteria.